So Steve here, we've got the ultimate collection of kokanee ice fishing baits. Why don't you go through them? Yeah, like, like we talked about, Brian, you, kokanee are like every fish, they're funny. One day they'll eat one, one day they'll eat the other. But, you know, we've got some, some dyed corn here with a bit of flavoring in it, uh, some krill, krill oil. And uh, over here, we've got a couple of very large um, mealworms, which we're working well today, actually. Yep. And yep. then beside them is kind of the, that this is the maggots. Um, they are the go-to typically yep. for, for kokanee. And then over here, I've just got some krill. But those are, those are pretty much the go-to when I'm, when I'm fishing is, to, you know, yep. this is them. And it's good to have a selection because those fish can be picky. Today, a couple of days ago, it was the corn. That's yeah. all they would touch. Yeah. Today, it was the the krill and the uh, and the mealworms. And the big mealworms. Yeah. So Steve, let's quickly go over the uh, terminal tackle, the, the spoons, the flashers that we need, and then our hooks, our our, um, our lures that we're using. What do you like to use? Well, I personally, Brian, really like this big uh, white fish. Yeah. So it's a Williams Wobbler white fish. And I think it really looks like a kokanee and tends to me tends to bring them in from further yeah. away. Keeps them, yeah. Keeps them uh, around. And then I've got these are two UV flashers that. So it's a good combination when you're fishing with a partner, one to yeah. use something like that to bring them in, and then we can finesse them with the spot. <laughs> you catch all the fish. I think that's what you're saying. So no, and I, I you know, anytime you're fishing, it's always good to be yeah. doing something different yeah. and until something you figure out what's working. Yeah. It's no different than fly fishing. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs>